Okay, we're going to start our look at Paradise City by Guns N' Roses by taking a look at this, uh, the intro section. And now before I get started, I, I want to just let you know that I am going to be teaching this entire lessons for all these Paradise City lessons are going to be in standard tuning. Since most guitar players tune to standard tuning, um, I don't want to leave anybody behind, especially if you have like a floating trim system guitar and it makes it difficult to get into um, altered tunings. Guns N' Roses routinely tunes down a half step, and including Paradise City. They're supposed to, it's, so the guitars, if you want to play along with the album, still play it the exact way I show it to you today, but tune your guitar, every string down on your guitar, down a half step. It's a very common rock tuning, you've probably done it before, uh, but just to make it easier on everybody learning this song, we're going to do it all in standard. Alright, so let's get to work. So the intro to the song starts with a clean guitar part, basically sounds like this. And then that section is, will be repeated over and over again. So let's talk about what's going on there. It's basically based around three chords. Um, so let me just show you the chords in the left hand real quick, and then we're going to break down the right hand. We have a G major, a basic G major chord here. Uh, if you use it, usually a few, depending on what kind of uh, voicing you like to use for G major, the open voice G majors. We're going to be using here a pinky at the third fret on the E string, the high E, and then down on the A string, your second fret, and then down on the low E string, the third fret. So we have all the other strings open. Standard G major chord. Then we're going to come over to C major chord. So just basically keep your pinky here at the third fret on that first string, but then play a standard C major open chord underneath it. It's a five string chord. And then you're going to take these two string fingers that are on the fourth and fifth strings right now and move them down one string each. That'll take us to the, the third finger at the fourth, the D string on the third fret and the second finger at the second fret on the G string. And this is an F add 9 chord. So, so far we have Then we're going to, so those are the only three chords, and we're going to go back to the C, then back to the G. All right? So that's the chord sequence that we're going to be using here in this intro. Now let's take a look at what's going on in the right hand, because that's really the intricate part here. Um, there are multiple kind of guitars playing here, but this is kind of breaking it down to where you could all play it on one guitar. Um, so it's got a lot of different techniques in it. So we're going to start with the strum of the G. Then the picking pattern is basically going to be this. It's a pretty simple pattern. We're going to start with the first string. And we're going to go upstroke, then upstroke on the second then an up, downstroke on the third. I like to pick a downstroke on the third since it takes me back to the first string, keeps everything economical. So using that, and then the second time picking through, we're going to pick an upstroke on the first, and then we're going to do a slight pause, and then do a downstroke on the third. So we skip the second string there. So we have, sorry. And then you're going to continue with just straight picking across all three again, which is going to be an upstroke, up, then down. And then you're going to end it with one downstroke on the second string. I'm sorry, upstroke on the second string. So we have. So all together. Then we're going to go to the C chord. Now, the C chord, we've got to hammer on to it a little bit. So it's going to be a little bit trickier than just playing it. Go ahead and put your, keep your pinky at the uh, third fret. Put your first finger down on the second fret, on the second string, first fret. Then you're going to pick the, the D and the G string, the third and the fourth string together. Pick that, then hammer on at the second fret on the D string. You're going to be hammering on to an E note there. So we have... Picking those two notes, but only hammering on the second fret on the D string. Then coming over and playing the C note, or the third fret here on the, a, the uh, fifth string, after it. So we have this. 
And then to end it, you're gonna go back to that fourth string and pick that E again that you had just hammered on, just pick it. So we have. All right, then after that, we do the exact same picking pattern that we did on the first three strings for the G chord. So all together. Then we're going to come over to the F chord, and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do some hammering on. We're going to pick the third and fourth string again, and this time you're going to hammer on both of those notes, that the second fret and third fret note. Now the picking pattern is going to be a little bit different after you've hammered on to the F chord. You're going to go, you're going to pick the second string first, then you're going to pick one, two, and three then back to the second. So it's a shorter pattern, it's just second string, then one, two, three, and then second string again. So you begin and end with the second string and then pick the one, two, three between them. All right, then we come back down to the C chord. We're gonna be hammering onto it the exact same way we did before. Hitting those two little strings, hammering onto the thing, uh, the E, and then holding that C, and then coming and picking the E again. So now the picking pattern here, this when you're doing the second time playing the C, you know, it's kind of simple. All you gotta do is go one, two, three on the first, second, third strings, and then pick up your first finger and have hit that open second string. That takes us back to this G. All right. So so far we have this. After that open second string, come and play the strum the G again. So we have just strum the G, and then we're going to go up, up, down across the first, second, and third strings. Then just pick the first and second. Now we have a little little country lick that actually ends the whole thing. So. What's going on there is you still try to keep the other chords ringing and you take your second finger here. You're going to pick the open third string then hammer on the second fret. Then do an upstroke on the open B string, second string. Then lift up your second finger and pick the third string open and the second string open again. All right, then come to the fourth string. And that is just basically going to be kind of the same thing. We're going to pick the fourth string open, hammer on the second fret, open string on the third string up, up stroke. And then hit the open D string, fourth string. Slowly. All right, and then you would go straight back to the picking patterns again, starting over with the G. All right, so you just pick, pick it through that. The very last time play it, where it was when he just says, take me home at the very end, going into the, uh, the uh, the distorted riff, instead of doing the, pick, the picking on the F and the C and the G, he basically just goes, strums the chords. All right, so you're going to hear that at the very end of that. Instead of doing the picking pattern, he'll stop at the very end of it and just, instead of, he'll just go. All right, so that takes us to the distorted intro and the chords we have here, which is going to be this. All right, so what's going on there? Open G power chord. You're going to be muting the fifth string here um, with it underneath of your, your second finger, but every other string 
you have the threes on the, the first, second, first and second strings, and the third fret here on the sixth string. All the open strings are open, except you're, of course, you're muting that fifth. Big open strum. Then we have a power chord here at the third fret off of the fifth string. All right, so that's the third fret here, and then the fifth fret on the two middle strings there. Now you're gonna hear a little, he does a little, little muted sound before. It's just a quick little down up before he plays the chord. Then come down here and play the F power chord down here. It's basically off the sixth string, first fret. Then back to that C power chord. And then to back to the G. I'm always doing a little, little chuck chuck things in there. All right, that's what one guitar player is doing. We obviously have two guitarists here. The other guitar player is playing the exact, pretty much the same thing, except on that F chord, instead of coming down to the low F power chord, he goes to a higher F power chord. So he's basically gonna be doing this. So basically, instead of this uh, F power chord here, play the F power chord, third fret, fourth string, fifth fret on the third string, and then sixth fret on the second string. And then all the other chords will be the same. Just a way of kind of filling up that sound, getting a high F and a low F in there at the same time. All right, so that's basically pretty much all that's going. And then we're gonna have the intro solo, which is gonna be a little bit of this. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on. Basic little pentatonic things, pretty easy. We have hammer on from 12 to 14 on the D string. Then pick 12 on the G string twice. By the way, I've moved it to the neck pickup here too, which he does. And then you're gonna pick 14 and 12 on the D string. Then come over and grab with your pinky the 15th fret quickly on the second string. And then you're going to do a whole step bend at the 14 on the, the, the G string. Release it and do another one bend and release. So it goes. So it's basically two bends, and that last one, you really let that bend come down. Then pick 12 on the G and 14 on the D. All together. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. So that was the exact same phrase done two times in a row. So after that, we'll be playing them both in a row. Remember that last one, hold that bend, you're gonna pull off to that 12 and then at 14 there. All right, so then we have this. So that's, now that we're in this kind of position, you're gonna hold this 13th fret, sixth string and do a hold that bend with your second finger. So I did two bends there at the second string, 13th fret, hold that bend. Then come down to the, and that was basically a whole step bend, like we did earlier, bend and release at the 14th fret on the third string, pull off to 12, come over to 14 on the fourth string, the D string, and then do the whole step bend on the 14 again. So we got this. Okay, then we start the same phrases over exactly like we did before. That whole phrase, let me just play the phrase I just did. All right, so 
So now we start the second half the exact same way. All right, the only difference now is the part that comes when we start doing the bends at the 13. We're gonna now do this. Pretty simple stuff. We're gonna do that bend now, the, 14, the 13th fret again twice. Hold that second bend and reach up and grab 15 with your pinky on the first string. Then come back down and pick that 13 and release it. So we have a And then first finger at the 12th fret, a series of half step bends. And there you go. That's the intro solo for Paradise City and that will take us into the main riff and the verse. So stay tuned for that.